now it's time for us to prepare the paste for the rice uh, kibbi, uh, the kibbi halab that we are uh, gonna use today. Uh, for this, we need uh, two cups of rice that I already washed and drained. Actually, I soaked it in water for about 15 minutes before I drained the water. This will go in a pot like this. Into this, I will add six cups of water. And one teaspoon of turmeric. This is gonna give us that bright yellow color. And also we'll season the rice with some salt, about one teaspoon. And we'll place this on the stove. We'll cook it until the rice is nice and tender and all the liquid is uh, absorbed uh, through the rice. While we are waiting for the rice, it's boiling. It's gonna take maybe another 10 to 15 minutes for the rice to cook. We will put the lid back on and we'll let it cook. Uh, we will prepare the filling that goes uh, uh, inside the kibbi. Uh, for this, first of all, I will heat one tablespoon of vegetable oil in a skillet like this. To the heated oil, we will add half cup of slivered almonds and we'll saute just for a minute or two until golden brown. They'll, they'll be nice and toasted and they will bring all the flavor out and they will be great in this filling uh, besides the raisins that we're gonna add to. So we'll just try to fry the slivered almonds for a minute or so until golden. Almonds are golden and toasted. I will transfer them back into the bowl. Now to the skillet, I will add another tablespoon of vegetable oil and then I will add two pounds of ground meat. Again, I'm using lean meat. We'll cook it until nice and brown and tender. Meat is nice and brown. Now we will season with some salt. Of course, it depends on how salty you want it to be. There are no rules on how much spices and salt you like to add. You want it to be fairly spices, but not too spices. And then we will turn the heat off and let it sit on the side to cool off before adding the raisins and the uh, toasted slivered almonds and the parsley. We'll check on our rice. All the water is absorbed through our cooking and it's beautiful. It's nice and mushy and it's soft and this is exactly how we want it. We want it to be completely cooked. We will let it sit for a few minutes to cool off. In the meantime, we will finish preparing the filling. Uh, the, the meat is nice and cold. To this, we will add the toasted, or actually the fried, slivered almonds. And we will add half cup of golden raisins. And half cup of chopped parsley. We will mix all these together. If you don't like to use the almonds, you don't have to. If you want to eliminate the raisins, you don't have to. Uh, you could choose whatever uh, filling you, whatever uh, extra things you need to add to your meat. But the combination of the almonds and the raisins and the parsley with the meat, it's gonna give you that amazing flavor uh, for the filling. And I always think it's the best to use for kubba halab. But of course, it's all optional. You don't have to use any of these if you don't like to. The rice is cold enough for us to uh, press it through a potato ricer. You see the turmeric, it gives you that bright golden color. And it tastes so good too.
this could be are so filling and so they are so uh, so nice as an appetizer even uh, in a sandwich or for uh, as lunch to this we will add one egg We don't need to add any salt because when we cook the rice, we already seasoned it with uh, salt and turmeric. So it should be just perfect. And we will need a mix, a mixture to form a soft and smooth paste. Smells so good. I love the turmeric. And uh, we all know how healthy the turmeric is. It's very high in antioxidant and it's um, believe to uh, be a good spice to lower cholesterol also and it has many many benefits and now we are ready to make the kibis of course always the paste is very sticky so we would like to uh, brush our hands with or dip our hands in some oil take a portion of the paste Make a hole with your finger in the middle. Place some meat filling, about one tablespoon. Bring the sides over. And shape it into an oval shape. Both ends pointed. And place it on a tray like this. These kibis are very famous Iraqi kibis, uh, even though they are called Koba Halab, which is a city in uh, Syria. But no one knows where the name Kibbi Halab came from, but um, they are very, very famous and very well known uh, Iraqi kibis. Making these kibis, you'll see many ladies, uh, friends, sisters, they all sit together, catch up with. Um, whatever uh, news they have and they sit and make many many of them and then fry them and most of the time they freeze very well they'll freeze them or if they have a special occasion uh, they all sit and uh, share stories and make these kibis so much fun now the kibis are ready to go in the fridge we need to leave them in the fridge for at least hour to two hours before frying them and they look amazing. Now it's time to fry the kubba halab. The oil is hot and it's 350 degrees. We have about two inches of oil in a heavy skillet like this. And we will add only a few at a time. We don't want to reduce the temperature of the oil. By adding many of them at one time, it will reduce the temperature of the oil and they will not fry uh, properly. We'll take about one minute to cook on each side. They cook real fast. The bahalab is nice and golden. We will remove it using a slotted spoon to drain all the oil and we'll, I love the color that the turmeric gives these kubba halab uh, you can add more to make them even more yellowish or you can reduce the amount to make them pale yellow 